is going on mortals? Mortal T here and welcome to How to Tame, a series where I will be covering every Tame 190 in Arc, going over the best way to tame them, going over their features slash ability slash roles in Arc. But first a small disclaimer, all this taming is done on a boosted server but the taming method is exactly the same that you'd have to use on an official server. But if you're playing on an official server, you should know by now that it's going to take you a lot longer to gather resources and a lot longer to do the taming. But with that out of the way, let's get to what we're going to be taming today. So if we look into the distance, we'll get our supply glass out. This is what we're going to be taming today. The Woolly Rhino. Oh yes. Now, these are only usually found in the snowy biome, which we are right next to. It's over that way somewhere. Uh, but that is where you usually find them, and that is what are we going to be taming. So, the woolly rhino is a knockout tame. Now you could do this in several ways, it doesn't really matter. You can get to a high point where the rhino cannot hit you, or you could try and lure it to a taming pen. Just make sure you have a quetzal on hand to pick it up. But for this intents and purposes, I'm going to get to a high place and I am just going to trank it out. As you can see, he cannot reach me here. And it's down. Kaboya. Really, really cool. So, once you have got it knocked out, what are you going to need to tank? Well, a woolly wine, a woolly wino, woolly rhino's favourite kibble is terror bird kibble, which you've got some right there. So put it on. So if you can get your hands on some terror bird eggs, and you want to waste them on some woolly rhino kibble, or you've got a really good woolly rhino that you want to tame, like perhaps on 150 or something, uh, here is the recipe. So. You're going to need terror bird eggs, obviously. One citronel. One cooked meat or cooked meat jerky. You can have either cooked meat or cooked meat jerky. Two major berries and three fibers, which can be cooked in the cooking pot or the industrial cooker. But if you can't get your hands on any of Terror Bird eggs, don't worry, you can tame it with all the things. You can tame it with any of the four vegetables that you grow in a greenhouse. Or, most likely, you'll probably just use Mejo Berries that you pick uh, from the bushes. Um, but if you can't get your hands on a lot of Mejo Berries, don't worry, you can tame it with normal berries as well. So, once your Woolly Rhino is up, and are moving about, you can get a saddle for it, which you unlock at level 53. Boom! There we go. Oh, yes. So now we can get on and ride a douche. A douche. Now, cannot break rocks. Trying to get it out into a wide space. So I don't know if you noticed. Once we get out into an area where we can actually show you, you should notice that the rhino has two different sprint things so this is the normal one this one here is just a normal like walk but then you have a charge ability yeah, and if we can get into a stretch of beach that hasn't got anything I'll try and show you models so, line up try and get swipe the process rocks so I'm going to go into it let's line up there and now, as you can see, we start off slowly, but as you can see, we are picking up speed, and I mean a lot of speed. 
Now if you see on the right hand side, the upper right, you'll see a little heart meter that is flashing red. And once that meter is full, it means you have reached that rage ability like the Giga has. And it will do more damage if you hit something with it. Now unfortunately, I don't think we've got anything on the beach we can hit. No, no dinos. Let's see if we can turn around. We're going to keep this speed going. We're going to see if we can find something to hit. So I don't know if you can hear that. We are actually breaking things now. And then... Oh no, it didn't work. Crap. Well, as you see, we knocked down all those. And we did knock down some stuff here, as you can see. Knocked down some of the wood that got in our way. Just knocked it down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around. Uh, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to try and hit that turtle again. Better. Where's it gone? Once we get up close to it, ha, ah, 100,000 damage. So I just want to show you that we're not constantly doing 100,000 damage. It's only when we have that. Have we got anything small we can kill just to show the damage off, please. I got a Bronto over there. I want to do that with the charge. That'd be awesome. Okay, let's go over. I'm all right, swimming, it's not too, too bad. Right, we got anything small that I can just hit for now? Let's see, like a Gallimimus here. Here we go. So, that's its normal attack, which is. Holy Jesus, what the fuck? Microraptor just tried to get me. So, yeah, its normal attack does roughly about 7,000 damage. Another Microraptor. But that attack, it can, it can do a lot. So from 7,000 to like 100,000, it is ridiculous. Okay, that only did 8,000. Oh crap, we want to try and get away. We're on to have to turn around, really. I didn't time it well. So once you've got your charge like built up, you do have to press the attack button when you do get close to do all that damage. Now, it does not harvest any meat because it is a herbivore. Just to let you know, okay? So what else? So, with its charge, uh, it can take out or extremely uh, injure large dinos, as I've just proved. Uh, so if you wanted to do more damage, obviously, do uh, increase the melee damage on it and while you're there increase health and some stamina uh, that is is it's like special uh, ability basically <laughs> that's it it's charge maneuver and it can just go boom and do a hell of a lot of damage in one attack but you do have to get that charge meter up okay So, that is oh, the woolly rhino that usually hangs out in the snow biome, which is over there. Now, with the charge stuff, it doesn't matter if you pump movement speed, it will not affect the charge ability, it will not make it faster. Just to let you know. This is its normal walking speed, as we were just doing there. Okay, that was a Microraptor, and just because we leveled up, the Rhino went on its arse. Where's it gone? It's just gone. But yeah, it only affects the normal walking speed of the Rhino. It will not affect the charge attack. To activate the charge, obviously, you press the sprint button, and it will gather up this speed uh, after it poops. You cannot hit nothing apart from all these tiny little woods that will break under its 
charge. So don't worry about that. But once you get close, you have to hit like that. Uh, as with small dinos, if you hit them pretty good, you can carry on your charge and just keep obliterating everything. But for large dinos, you will slowly get stuck on them. So you will uh, stop. That means you'll have to build up your charge again. But sometimes it'll work out good, sometimes it just won't. Here we go, we just killed a Dillo and we're still charging, really, really cool. Uh, there we go, we just killed a Parasaur and we got some wooden thatch along the way. And uh, die. But, like I said, if you hit like a rock or something, it will lose its uh, charging ability and you'll have to start all over again. Um, but that is it, mortals. That is the woolly rhino and the best way to tame it. And we've just covered its feature, the charge ability that increases the amount of damage you do like tenfold, which is really, really nice. So if someone's coming at you with a giga and you've got a woolly rhino or two, charge up that charge ability and attack it, and it'll do a hell of a lot more damage than any of your other dinos will. Um, but that is it guys. I hope you found it informative and if it helps you out in any way please don't forget to show the like button who is boss by punching it in the face and if you're new to the channel don't forget to click that subscribe button. And as always mortals don't forget to share it with your family and your friends and around the world. But that is it. I am Mortal T and I am out.